Good afternoon. Um, honorable members of the committee, I appreciate you uh, powering through the afternoon slump to uh, be here with us. Uh, my name is TJ Noel Sullivan. I'm born and raised here in Hartford, and I'm the founder of the Hartford Film Company. And I've submitted written testimony to you all uh, telling my story and how the film credit was so important in my career growth. Uh, but I've decided that I think it would be a better use of all of our time for me to use this time to share some anecdotal insights into some of the questions you all have raised so far in this um, hearing. Uh, and I think that starts with, I think, the DEC data, which is a challenge because it's trying to parse things out and kind of read tea leaves and make educated guesses about what's actually happening with the money. Um, and so I'll actually, I'll start with an invitation that if any of the committee members or any of the other organizations that have so diligently been looking at this data, if you would like to come look at our books and I can ha happily take you dollar by dollar through our last production and show you where that money's going and how the tax credit actually impacts us. Um, and I think one of the first things you'll find is that the DEC data drastically underestimates the economic impacts of this tax credit. So for example, we just went through the process of filing our tax credit for our last production. The DEC data accounts for the wages and taxes paid for the 100% local crew that we hired. However, it does not accurately capture the 21 small businesses that we used for the catering of our cast and crew over the course of four weeks. It also doesn't even come close to capturing the Friday night wrap parties we had at Rap Red Rock across the street. Um, and so overall, to draw such an extreme conclusion as cutting the tax credit entirely off of inaccurate information, I think would be a mistake. The other big question I've heard here today is about where the money goes, where these tax credits go. For one, I, I want to kind of dispel the notion that this tax credit at the end is something that is a 30% tax credit that is used to line the coffers of some big corporation. To give you a sense of the actual budgeting here, if I'm producing a movie and I budget to have 100 crew members working on that movie, and then I'm filming in a state with a 30% tax credit, I can then budget to have 130 crew members on that movie. And so when we talk about the tax credit somehow propping up the industry, really what that is is because of where we are right now and with our neighboring states, if I'm a producer and I have the budget where I can say, okay, with no tax credit in Connecticut, I can hire 100 people on my crew, or I can cross the state line and hire 125 people or 130 people, those extra 25 or 30 people that I'm able to hire are gonna make a market impact on the quality of the film. And so as a producer, it's kind of my duty to, to follow that and be able to hire more people and have a bigger production that will result in a better product. Um, and so it's that's where the money is going here. When we have this tax credit, it is we are budgeting from the beginning and saying, because of this tax credit, I can bank on that and hire more people and expand the budget of what I'm doing. Um, and then the other question, which Representative Cheeseman has raised, and I think is a really valid question of where you this money is being transferred to, where this is being transferred to, you know, one of the things that I know has been put before this committee is switching to a rebate system where we don't have to have this credit that then gets potentially sold off, but instead having a rebate. That would be something at a personal level I'd be in support of, and I think would actually be something that would make all sides happy in this solution.